Hi friends, welcome to this DIY home organization ideas. In today's organizing video, I'm sharing how to organize under the sink. I am sharing how to organize the laundry room and including some cleaning products as well. And also sharing how to better display your kitchen sink area. Later, I will be sharing my Cricut machine to share these DIY organization ideas I have planned. And my goal to today's organizing video is that I had some messy areas that really just needed some attention. So I focused on those areas only and got to organizing and doing those DIY organization ideas that I will be sharing with you. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for future content on cleaning and organizing your home. These areas like the laundry room transformation and under the sink and the kitchen sink area really went through a serious transformation throughout this whole organizing process. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started. Just quickly sharing what I will be focusing on today. Plus more, there are some more ideas and just showing the before of my kitchen sink. This is the specific area that I was targeting. So when there is a problem with something that is just looking messy, that's what I try to tackle and this was definitely it. I used these amber glasses and in order to stay organized, I wrote down what I needed for my project. So like I mentioned earlier, I'm using my Cricut machine to cut my projects for me. And we're starting off with the Cricut Explore 3. If you've never heard of Cricut, Cricut is a machine that cuts hundreds of materials, including everything from vinyl to leather and has a free software program for desktop and mobile called Design Space, which I have used both platforms and they worked equally as well, but they allow you to choose your projects and start cutting away. I am going to be walking you through my whole process and a first step is to walk into design space on my desktop and I chose this font. It's a really beautiful and on the Cricut Design Space, there is a Cricut Access that allows you to even more fonts. They have hundreds of fonts and projects as well. And for my project, I am using the Smart Vinyl. So the Smart Vinyl allows you to not have to have a mat for this Cricut project. The Cricut Cutting Machine is really simple and I love that it tells me exactly what I need for my project. It lets you know on Design Space at the exact steps and walks you through it. Really easy and simple process. So now that my Cricut machine has cut my project, I am removing the top layer of the Smart Vinyl. And then I'm going in with my weeding tool to take out the in between the letters. And after using my weeding tool, I'm using the transfer tape to place on top of my project. And then you'll use the smoothing tool to make sure everything attaches to the transfer tape. This process is really important because this is when the smart vinyl actually sticks to the transfer tape and then you can move it onto your project. And you can see me here working with the transfer tape and the smart vinyl. And sometimes when it gets in really thin areas or the writing is really dainty, you have to make sure it sticks really well because if not, it comes off a little bit. But that's when you use your tools to make sure everything sticks and 
that's what they're there for. So just sharing the little bit ups and downs sometimes, but overall, as you see, the product is absolutely beautiful and I love, love the end result and mostly solves my problem that I had in the beginning, which was the messy looking area of my kitchen sink. This makes it look so much better and just keeps my mind and anxiety down. So I love my Dawn blue dish soap and I also love the Lysol kitchen cleaner and with all the colors it honestly makes it look just messy. So having these products and the amber glass bottles does help with keeping it all simple and a little bit more streamlined with the writing from the Cricut. So now that the top of my sink is a bit more organized and just looks pretty, makes my anxiety much better in this area. I'm not seeing like a whole bunch of bottles, different bottles. I am tackling underneath the sink and first things first, just removing everything and then cleaning it down with some Lysol kitchen cleaner. And what I love about this organizer is that the vertical space is really great. You can fit some good size bottles. And the turntable is really great for using those daily cleaners. I have been absolutely loving my acrylic containers for organizing my home. I'll link those videos down below so you can check them out. But these are the acrylic containers that I got for organizing my sponges and washcloths. So I went ahead into my Cricut design space to create these labels. And again, the Cricut design space really tells me exactly what I need to do. I select my smart vinyl, permanent vinyl, and I decided to go with a really bright, beautiful color. If you know anything about me, I love me some pink, that is for sure. So I place my vinyl in my Cricut and it measures the length. By placing the smart vinyl in my Cricut machine and it did its job by cutting. This is definitely one of my favorite parts is using the weeding tool to take out all of the in-between smart vinyl from this writing. And using my transfer tape to pick up this lettering from the smart vinyl. I hope this makes sense. If there's any questions, make sure to ask them down below in the comments and I'm more than happy to answer them. If you hear my sweet baby, that's just because he's sitting on my lap right here. I should take a picture of us and share with you guys. But yeah, he's just with me doing this voiceovers.
So for sponges right now, I have three different containers. So I'm excited to like, you know, minimize that and put everything in one container. So my problem here was that my washcloths were just kind of scattered in different locations and same goes with my sponges. So my Cricut machine was able to help me get this all organized into one location for sponges and then one location for washcloths. And I love that I was able to get this done and organized with my Cricut machine. The best part of it all is that it looks beautiful and honestly you can customize it obviously to your liking, your color, your writing so that's always a lot of fun to work with so thankful and honored to work with Cricut once again so thank you to Cricut for sponsoring today's video So we have these cloths as well, but I do not like using them for in the kitchen at all. I don't even know if I should keep them because like I really dislike them. So I don't know. I'm like debating what I should do with these. I'm going to ask my husband see what he thinks. And I wasn't able to minimize all of the sponges, so these are in this one. So I was able to get rid of two bins, so that's pretty awesome. And then I might even get rid of this whole bin, so we'll see. I do wish these were like longer, so I may look into some that will be longer. And you know, we can just like move things around, like move these into like here and so forth. But these are a great, great start. Really, really like them. And I love my labels so much. So fun. If you are interested in any of these Cricut materials, I will make sure to leave them linked to down below in the description and I'll make it super easy. Make sure to leave it in a pinned comment so you can go directly to the website and check out Cricut for your organizing ideas in your home. All right, so really quickly, I'm just share what I have. I have those extra sponges, some extra cleaners back there, and then these are the super daily cleaners that we use really, really often. We got dishwasher soap, the cloths, and the sponges. I got the pink stuff right up here, and then I could even store things up top, which is pretty nifty. Um, these are stackable, so even if I got more, I could do that. And then I got some gloves back there some bottle brushes and then the rest are like other sorts of brushes as well so when i do come in here to get stuff from here i will have to move it over a little bit but it was better than this side so it is what it is um i got a kitchen and a bath scrubber that i forgot about so i'm gonna put this in the front and then i got some hand soaps to refill and then some wyman cooktop cleaner and method cleaner and then mrs meyer's cleaner back there so yes i got lots of goodies that are easier to see versus in the corner back there so i'm going to try to use these first So walking into the laundry room, it is such a disaster, but I want to focus right here on these cleaning products. I mean, it is just such a mess. This really needs a touch up and yeah. And then this side, it's a hot mess too. Um, it's a little bit more. It's just got like a few extra things, but this is the side we're going to focus on.
what you're going to see in this process is I'm going to remove everything shelf by shelf. I'm not going to take all of the shelves, but I'll work on one shelf at a time. So I'm just going to clear it off, clean it off, and then I'm going to adjust the shelf a little bit better so we can fit some more items or like fix the shelves down below. So a lot of these products in the laundry room are cleaning products and then also our laundry items as well. So it's a combination and you'll kind of see how I'm working and what I'm doing to organize the space a little bit more specifically. I have organized the space a while back. I can share that video if you guys are interested to see the progression. You know, I don't always have beautiful bins. You know, sometimes there's just no budget for it. So give yourself grace. Sometimes you can't get that. It's okay. Just try to organize in categories. But these bins from Target I had, and I had no intention of using them in here actually. I had intentions of putting them in the pantry, but they didn't fit. But they fit perfectly in this area. And I am so, so happy. You guys are going to love the transformation in here. My idea behind all of this is that you can, you know, just take what you need and like pull out like the leather cleaner, the brushes, the jaws refill. So that's my idea behind everything. But oh my gosh, so much better. I also need to figure out where these can go. <laughs> So this middle shelf is the laundry items and then the next shelf will actually be like the bulkier laundry and cleaning products. So that's kind of the process of the shelving but again just clearing it off, cleaning it off and then adjusting the shelf. these sponges right here for right now we'll see if that actually stays I don't really like it right there I need something like right here just to put it on top so right here I have all of the laundry items like laundry detergent fabric softener more laundry and then it's like that what's it called 
Lysol laundry sanitizer and some Tide powder and baking soda, oxyclean, and then some laundry detergent pads. But I want to get containers for this one and the Tide. So yeah, I need to look for that. And then here I have like all of the back stock, um, some vinegar, the extra jaws containers, and then cleaners like vacuum cleaner and then dishwasher uh, soap and Lysol and bleach so that's what's in here and it's so much better so I need to put this up there and I still need to find a spot for like all of that so I wasn't going to actually organize this spot and it's nothing beautiful or like Pinterest worthy but it is a bit more organized to our family. And I highly suggest that when you are organizing or decluttering a space of your own, just do what is best for you. You don't need to have it all color coordinated, which do not get me wrong, I love me a good color coordinated organization, but sometimes it's just not, you know, it's not time for it or space for it and that's okay. I just wanted to make this space a little bit more functional. So that was the goal here. I have much more organizing to do in the cabinets and then the other side of the laundry room is a hot mess as well. So it's just a process. Organizing is a process. So give yourself grace and you got this. Do section by section in your home. Okay, so this is the one I had already and it was from Walmart and I'm going to use these that I've had in the storage so might as well put them to good use but this one's broken and hadn't noticed it but I think I can still use it because it's just going to carry these. So I'm going to move these over and then put baking soda in this one and then Thai powder probably in this one. So I did wash out this bin right here. You're gonna see it all nice and clean. And then I did place the baking soda in here. So I like to write down my things. I don't know what it is. I get scatterbrain, I guess, but I do like to write down the labels I am working with and then also measuring. It's a good idea to measure the items that you are going to be crafting in Cricut Design Space. And once again, we are back here. And just going back to Cricut Design Space, I chose a more dainty font. So that's what I wanted to do. And I wanted to use a white font because I didn't want it to be like in your face, but obviously you do you do whatever you want, whether it's a bold color, a bold writing. It's always so fun because there's tons of options on Cricut Design Space. So I'm just working on there and then I'm going to be cutting my project. And next we're moving the top layer of that smart vinyl and weeding out the letters with my weeding tool. And next up will be the transfer tape, which will lay on top of this and use the smoothing tool to make sure everything attaches to the transfer tape.
Did anyone catch me misspelling OxyClean? I went ahead and did another cut of this to make sure the spelling was correct. I'd love if you gave this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new for future content. I love creating, cleaning, and organizing videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm just placing everything in my newly organized laundry room. I so appreciate you guys. I hope you got some DIY home organization ideas. And if anything, just spark an idea. Thank you so much for being here and so appreciative. Make sure to check down below in my description for all the products that I've used in today's video. And thank you so much to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. I will see you in the next organizing video. Have a great day. Love you guys. Bye. You want to say hi? Say hi. <laughs> we got Carter over there.